Hello everyone, my name is Brian Chong and I'm the pre-sales solutions architect with Microfocus. Today I want to go over forwarding audit events from ArcMC to ArcSight ESM. In addition, I will also show you how to forward uh, rules that are in ArcMC to ArcSight ESM. Now all the information that I will be covering today are documented in the ArcMC admin guide. Really, there are two major steps to uh, forward audit events from ArcMC to ArcSight ESM. One, install ArcSight Syslog daemon connector. Two, enable uh, forwarding. So let's start with the first step. Now in this demo, I have already installed the um, ArcSight Syslog daemon connector. It is one of the most easiest connector to install. So I don't want to spend time going over the steps on installing the syslog daemon connector. Uh, you could just look at the documentation and, and do it on your own. There are a couple of things that you should be paying attention to during the um, syslog daemon connector installation. One, based on the uh, ArcMC admin guide, the ArcSight Arc syslog daemon connector has to be installed under op ArcSight connector. Uh, you cannot install it anywhere else. So please make sure that you install the connector under op ArcSight connector. Uh, two, you want to make sure that during the installation, there is a parameter for forwarder and just have to make sure that you enable it or set it to true. Once the syslog daemon is installed successfully, you want to make sure that the, the syslog daemon connector is up and running. So for my demo, I'm going to confirm that it is running or not by performing a nested command and grabbing for the port. Now, so for my connector, it is up and running. Um, I configured that so that it's listening on port 515. The last thing you want to do is, and this applies to uh, all the ArcSight components. Um, you want to make sure that the smart connector is uh, remotely managed by ArcMC. So for my connector, I'm going to go to the agent.properties file and add a parameter so that it could be remotely managed by ArcMC. So here, what I did was I added a parameter called remote.management.enabled equals true so that uh, ArcMC can manage this connector as well. So this is step number one. Install a syslog daemon connector. Make sure you follow the instructions on where to install it. Uh, make sure that it's up and running. That's step one. Step two is to enable the audit forwarding. So I'm going to go to the, uh, I'm going to log on to ArcMC, which I've already done. I'm going to go to the administration, setup, system admin. Now at this point, if you want to just see all the audit logs that are logged in the ArcMC, I could click on audit logs. And then you specify the time parameter, do a search. And these are all the logs that are written in the ArcMC. And these are all the logs that we want to forward to ArcSight ESM for real-time correlation. Now, to actually enable the audit forwarding, click on the audit forwarding. Now here, because we've installed the, the syslog daemon connector under app ArcSight connector, the ArcMC is able to recognize and detect that there is a connector installed. So what we want to do is we want to select the connector that we have installed and move it to the uh, box on the right hand side. Click on save. That's it. So now you have enabled audit forwarding. During the um, syslog daemon connector, you know, we specified ESM as the destination. So that's already taken care of. 
And now the last thing we have to do is, you know, log on to ArcSight ESM and verify that the audit events from ArcMC is being forwarded to the ArcSight ESM. So here I have I've created an active channel called ArcMC audit event. And basically my condition is device product equals ArcSight Management Center. And as you can see, because I just modified or enabled audit forwarding, that log is being forwarded. If I go back to the audit logs in the ArcMC and do a search again. So this is what I, this 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 event is what was forwarded to ArcSight ESM. And then any other and, and any other events that will be generated will be forwarded into ArcMC as well. Now I want to quickly go over the rules that you could create in ArcMC. So on this screen, uh, these type of logs are rules, and they are written into the the audit file. So if you want to look at the existing rules or create new rules within ArcMC, you navigate to Dashboard and go to Rules. Now here, these are all the pre-built rules that you could leverage. Some are enabled, some are not. You have to review them and see which one you want to be enabled at the same time, which one you want to be notified. I'm going to just click on the first rule, ArcMC warning. Now here, there, there are various attributes to this rule. And if you want this specific rules to be forwarded to ArcSight ESM, you want to make sure that you check the uh, box for audit. Uh, this means that this rule, when triggered, will be written into an audit file. Once it's in the audit file, it will be forwarded to the um, ArcSight ESM. Uh, you could check email, SNMP as your option as well. But for this demo, you got to make sure that you check the, um, the audit box and then you do a save. Now I'm going to go back to the, the audit log file by navigating Administrator, Setup, System Admin. I'm going to go and click on the audit logs. and do a search. Now, I just um, updated the rule. Even though I didn't make any changes to it, I clicked on Save. So this event should also be forwarded to ArcSight ESM. So let's go check. And here you go. Now, once the uh, if I go back to ArcMC, once the rules that are enabled are triggered, uh, it will be written into the, uh, the audit log file just like here. And then once, it, once it's in the audit file, it will be forwarded to the uh, ESM. And in the past, I do see uh, various rules that are triggered in ArcMC and forwarded to ArcSight ESM. So enable, enabling forwarding of audit logs from ArcMC to ArcSight ESM is fairly simple. It's a two-step process. One, install the syslog daemon connector on ArcMC's host. Make sure everything's up and running, is configured successfully. Two, enable forwarding. That's pretty much it. The third step is just verifying and confirming that the logs are being forwarded successfully. Now here we have additional rules that are triggered and it has been forwarded to ArcSight ESM. Thank you everyone.